access to tools like never before. But unless all of your tools are actually working together, it's going to feel like an uphill battle. That's why Roost makes it easy to set up workflows across your entire tech stack. Our team has built over 40 integrations, and better yet, we support custom integrations for any software that has API. Setting up your integrations one time in Roost will allow you to automate across all of them to your heart's content. As you're getting started, we've narrowed it down to a handful of critical MSP integrations to prioritize. Together, we'll go through the Microsoft bundle, but when we're done, we recommend you prioritize setting up your PSA, your ticketing system, your RMM, or your documentation platform. As a side note, in regards to security, Roost will inherit the account permissions you set it up with. That's why we highly recommend utilizing service accounts so you can configure your integration with that and it really simplifies reviewing and updating your permissions down the line. So let's look at how to set up integrations in the platform. From the homepage, go to Configurations and Integrations. There are a few core system integrations set up by default, and to install something, all you have to do is search by name and click it. This will take you to the configuration page. Make sure to read the corresponding help document articles when you are installing each integration. Even if it looks like a simple setup, we always recommend taking a look at the documentation to ensure your settings are configured correctly. A good example of why would be our RMM integrations, and many of them require you install a component or a script in your RMM for it to function correctly. With that caveat, let's get started. From the integrations page, search for Microsoft Cloud Integration Bundle. When you first open it, you'll see accordions here for each separate Microsoft integration. The first step is selecting the integrations you want to install. We highly recommend CSP, Graph, and Exchange Online in order to use our pre-made solutions or some of our getting started crates. Then we'll configure the parameters, starting with the authentication app registration. Now, here you have a few choices. The Roost Microsoft Cloud Connector has dynamic permission management. It's designed to make things a little easier as you wade through the myriad of available Microsoft permissions. However, if you have very specific or custom permissions that you want to set up, select the owned app registration. That will allow you to build your own in your Entre tenant, and that's from scratch. It'll trigger follow-up fields and you can customize the exact permissions exactly how you want it. Next, we'll set up the tenant integrations. It shows a list of the permissions available within each integration. Use the search to find the exact permissions you're looking for, or you can select all to select them all. And once you set your permissions, you can authorize all integrations with a single click. That'll prompt you to log in. After you authorize, you'll see everything on a single page. Over on the right, we have a claims table that shows you the user that authorized the integration, the VPN will show you the tenant ID that's currently associated with your integrations, shows you the app registration that was used, and a link to open the Azure portal that brings you to the enterprise application that gets installed within your tenant. Now that we have our Microsoft bundle set up, these are the other types of integrations that you should prioritize. These integrations will be required if you try to unpack our getting started crates. The PSA or ticketing system, your RMM, and your documentation platform. If you have found you want another integration that has this fantastic API, but Roost doesn't have it integrated, you can use custom integrations and connect with any product that has API. To turn it on, all you have to do is go into settings and select feature preview. There you'll find custom integrations. Click the enabled button, and if someone already has it turned on, it'll say disabled in the corner. By enabling this, you'll be able to find and install custom integrations, and you can install as many custom custom integrations as you need. You did it! Configuring your Roost integrations is really simple, and now that means you're ready for the next step, starting to automate. Thanks for watching! We're excited to support you in your automation adventure with Roost.